बसमिलकुम वेलकम टू डी सी टी वी यू एस ए डी टी वी एन एन आई एम ताबिंदा गुल लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द हेड लाइन्स चाइनीज प्राइम मिनिस्टर लीचियंग सेट टू अराइव फॉर द कॉन्फ्रेंस अदर की डेलीगेशन फ्राम इंडिया रशिया एंड सेंट्रल एशियंस नेशंस ऑल्सो इन अटेंडर्स डिप्टी पी एम इसहाक डार रिव्यूज एस सी ओ सुमित प्रिपेशंस President Joe Biden vows support for Florida's recovery after Hurricane Milton. United Nation accuses Israel of violating peacekeeping base in southern Lebanon. Iran warns of no limits in defense amid reports of possible Israeli strikes. These are headlines lead to news details. Delegation from several nations have begun arriving in Pakistan ahead of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization summit. Among the prominent attendees is Chinese Prime Minister Li Keqiang whose arrival has been officially announced other key delegations including representatives from India, Russia and Central Asian countries are also expected to participate is the pivotal conference. The SEO summit will address pressing issues primarily focusing on regional economic and security challenges. The event is seen as a major diplomatic achievement for Pakistan positioning the country at the center of important discussions in the region. Deputy Prime Minister Mohammad Isaq Dar along with Federal Minister Ataullah Tader led a walk to review preparations for the upcoming SCO summit. Dar confirmed Pakistan's readiness to host leader from members and observer countries including India's foreign minister and China prime minister. He praised the effort of all departments involved in organizing the event while expressing concern over a political party's call for protest. urging them to reconsider dar highlighted the significance of hosting this major international event after many years after surveying the devastations caused by hurricane milton president joe biden pledged federal support to aid florida's recovery efforts this marked the second major storm to hit the state in recent week living communities battered and street filled with debris president biden assured floridians that the government would provide the necessary resources to help rebuild and recover from the widespread damage The United Nations has accused Israel of breaching a peacekeeping base in southern Lebanon, reporting that Israeli tanks burst through the gates of the facilities. The incident is the latest in a series of alleged Israeli violations which have drawn criticism even from some of Israel's closest allies. Tension in the region continue to escalate at the United Nations call for accountability and restraint. Iran foreign minister issues a strong warning stating that the country has no red line in defending its people and interest. This statement follows on NBC report suggestions that US officials believe Israel may be planning to target Iranian military and energy infrastructures. The warning underscores the escalating tensions in the region as Iran signals its readiness to respond to any potential aggressions. This is me Tabinda signing off stay tuned for more news DCTV USA DTV NN and our OTT platform DTV Flex where you can access to over 3000 channels so stay tuned and stay with us